have uh, something like the Samosa's National Guard, you know, Trujillo's National Guard, uh, Philippine Constabulary, which can control the population. Uh, well, uh, General Dayton's forces are in fact the soft side of population control. Uh, the tougher and more brutal groups are those who are being trained by the CIA, the General Intelligence and Preventive Security. Uh, they're under no surveillance, so they can do what they like. Well, for Palestinians now, there are two options. Uh, one is that the United States will join the world. And there's no reason to doubt, in my opinion, that a two-state settlement can be implemented for the international consensus. Uh, the other alternative is continuation of present policies, what we're called Convergence Plus. Now, that doesn't mean that all Palestinians will be kicked out. I mean, they may remain. In fact, maybe the Israeli tourist offices will fund them. It would be nice when you're driving down a super highway in the West Bank uh, for Israelis and American visitors to be able to look up on the hills and see a, a man leading a goat. You know, it looks like a biblical scene or so on. So yeah, that's fine. They can play that role. Uh, and, and that will be uh, the solution. And it gets worse. Uh, the new Israeli government uh, it, its foreign minister, Victor Lieberman, has gotten some negative press here, but without careful attention. Uh, his, he introduced a new idea, uh, namely that Israel should take sections of Israel with heavy Palestinian population concentration and cut them out of the country. Okay. Plus put them into a Palestinian state, which will be a, you know, collection of unlivable cantons. I mean, you don't ask the people. In fact, they bitterly object, not surprisingly. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Now, that policy, which was considered virtually neo-Nazi when it was proposed, is now mainstream. It's been accepted by uh, Padima, the centrist party. It's praised by the New York Times. Uh, here's Ethan Brenner. Brunner. Uh, he says this policy appeals to the left because it yields areas that are now part, part of Israel in a land swap. I don't explain any more than that. But what it yields is Wadi Ara, which is mostly settled by Arabs, Palestinian citizens of Israel, of course. It puts them off somewhere else. And meanwhile, there's a land swap. Israel takes everything it wants in the West Bank. Uh, that should please the left, according to the New York Times. Uh, and Time magazine said about the same. Well, uh, those are the options. And it's not uh, you know, graven in stone that Americans will accept this. Uh, either the deluge of lies and deceit of the policies that are being implemented uh, can do something about it, but it's not going to happen by itself. I'll quickly go back to the announced title. Uh, are there crises and challenges? And a huge number of them that they barely mentioned. I haven't even mentioned the most serious of them, which really threatened species survive. Are there opportunities? Sure, plenty of them. Uh, but they've got to be faced. Uh, they have to be faced with uh, determination and commitment. And if they're not, uh, the future could be very bleak.
a major factor. Uh, the United States is now compelled in Latin America to support the kinds of governments that would have been overthrowing a few years ago. And so take uh, Brazil, now the last favor of the United States. I mean, his policy of his government are not all that different from the policies of the, the Goulart government that the Kennedy administration overthrew by uh, uh, inaugurating a, a military coup that installed the first uh, national security state in Latin America, you know, that like, uh, spread through the continent. Uh, uh, there's uh, uh, Latin America, the first time in its history, you know, for the last 500 years, uh, has been moving towards uh, integration and a degree of independence, and at least facing some of the tremendous internal problems, huge split between them tiny wealthy elite and massive population. Well, you know, in the past, the U.S. would have intervened to block that. But uh, fortunately for Latin America, attention was focused elsewhere, and uh, therefore these things could happen. And again, I say it's not just U.S. neglect to carry it out as important internal developments in Latin America, but it helped. The fact that the Bush administration was looking elsewhere was very helpful. Uh, so if Obama will go home, that would probably be a gift to Latin America, I would suggest. Uh, and it's, it is very important, isn't it? But Latin America, South America particularly is maybe the most exciting area in the world. I mean, I mentioned Bolivia before. But as a, I mean, the U.S. is trying to overthrow the government, naturally. But the, the but what happened there is pretty exciting. I mean, it is, it's the most democratic country in the world by any rational standard. I mean, this is the poorest country in South America. Uh, the indigenous population, which is the most repressed population in the hemisphere, uh, entered the political arena, uh, elected someone from their own ranks, you know, not some rich guy. Uh, they elected a poor pe pe peasant, and they produced the policies. It's not like the Obama army, where the instructions come from the top and the army pushes the doorbells. The policies came from the population, and they elected someone, their representative, to carry them out. And it's not like here, where issues are out of the elect electoral system. There were important issues, like control over resources, cultural rights, you know, really serious issues, and everybody knew them. And furthermore, election day was not a day on which you, you know, take a couple hours off from your usual pursuits and push a lever. And election day was a meaningful day. It was part of ongoing struggles. Okay, but today we take this step as part of an ongoing struggle over crucial issues. Now that's function of democracy. Well, of course, there's objections from the traditional elite who rule the country forever, and they want to take it over again. And guess who the US is supporting? Surprise. Uh, it led to, the opposition did lead to violence, and there was a meeting of the, very important meeting of a new South American or South American organization, the Union of South American Republics, in Chile, which is one of our favorites. Uh, the meeting in Santiago was last September, in which they condemned the violence of the opposition, supported the elected president, President Morales, uh, and he then made a statement, an important statement, in which he thanked